like to be portion of the name's the same, and here to play I'd like to be with us is the well-known singer and a lady who has done more for the guys and service in this country than I can than any other girl I can think of, Miss Frances Langford. <laughs> Welcome to the name's the same, Francis. It's a pleasure to have you on. Thank you. Tell me, uh, what, what you're doing? What's, what's new? What's exciting? I know you've just gotten back. From Florida. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. I'm going down tonight. Are you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to California tomorrow. Good, good. Uh, that takes care of Florida and California. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know that you were just recently uh, overseas. I was in Korea, yes. I know that. Mm -hmm. And a wonderful job you did, too. Thank you. Well, naturally, we want the panel to have a little fun with you, Frances Langford. Before the show started, uh, Miss Langford told us who she might like to be just in fun, of course, if she weren't herself. And uh, we're going to see if you panelists can find that out in just a moment. But right now, Johnson's Wax has a very helpful suggestion that I think will interest all of you. Today, there's a new and better way to polish floors. It's a great new Johnson's Wax discovery called Hard Gloss Glow Coat. I'm sure something like this often happens at your house. You've polished the floor, and you're really proud of the job you've done. But then, there's lunch to get, and children will play. And your husband brings in the groceries. And at the end of the day, your nice, bright floor is all scuffed up like this. This new kind of polish goes on easily, like any self-polishing wax. But it dries to give a brighter, extra hard polish that won't get a scuffed up look after weeks of wear. And when you track in dirt or spill things, you don't have to scrub it to get it clean. Your floor will be bright even though you damp mop it again and again. Never again need your floors look like this, dirty and scuffed up and neglected. It's easy to keep them bright and clean like this when you use hard gloss glow coat. So remember, there's a new and better way to polish floors. It's the new discovery by Johnson's Wax, hard gloss glow coat. Right now, in time for spring cleaning, you can save as much as 85 cents by buying hard gloss glow coat in the big bargain half gallon size. In this money saving can, you get four pints of Johnson's wonderful new hard gloss glow coat at less than the cost of three. You save as much as 85 cents. Look for Johnson's spring waxing bee display when you're shopping. You'll find Johnson's hard gloss glow coat featured in the big money saving half gallon size, and you'll save as much as 85 Cents. Thank you, Nels. Now we're set to play I'd Like to Be. Our panel is going to try to find out who it is Frances Langford would like to be if she weren't herself. Let's let that uh, home audience, our home audience, see that famous name. <laughs> The rules remain the same. The loser's checks will go to Francis Langford's favorite charity. Let's start off with Joan Alexander. Joni? I just want to say that Miss Langford singing Hello, My Love, a Goodbye is one of the best things I ever heard in my whole life. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, now then, this person you'd like to be, Miss Langford, uh, is she in uh, show business too? Yes. Is she living? Yes. Is she an actress? Yes. Has she ever played uh, leading lady types of parts? Yes. Well, let's see, there are so many leading ladies. Um, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, aside from your acting, uh, have you accomplished anything uh, in the last two years that would make you well-known or outstanding? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and you say this was something which was done within the last two years? Mm-hmm. Yes, the last part of the question. Mm-hmm. Um... Well, Meredith knows all those leading ladies. I think I'll touch them <laughs> my questions. I do? <laughs> Hi, Hi. Uh, you did something in the past few years, uh, aside from acting, for which you are well known now. Uh, could this be a sporting event of some sort? <laughs> no. No, no, I don't think so. No, no not a sporting event. <laughs> Well, uh, did it make, uh, was it front page news all over the country? Yes, as yeah. a matter of fact. Uh -huh. uh, was it last year? What? This uh, last year, uh, 
Uh, you mean a year ago, within the last year, or? No, I mean 1952. 1952. The last year. You know, I'm darned if I remember. Uh, it was right, quite recently. Let me put it that way, Marin. I'm not sure whether it was 52 or 3. Well, uh, was it political in any sense? No. 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 Didn't require the help of any congressman. <laughs> No, Meredith. <laughs> well, it wasn't political, it wasn't athletic. <laughs> Made front page news. Uh, were you involved in any kind of an accident? <laughs> no. I guess I'll have to pass. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> I'm writing. <laughs> uh, it's going to be another night. I hit the jackpot. Uh, this girl that you'd like to be, that's in the entertainment field, uh, is she sort of a youngish girl this side of 30? Uh, well... She's a youngish girl. She's a youngish girl. I don't know which side of 30. <laughs> Well, she can't just ride the rails. She has to be on either side. Oh, I don't know. I've been riding it for years. <laughs> oh, have I got a line. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, we don't want to close the whole television. Uh, let's see now. Is she primarily known for her uh, film work? Yes. yes. I didn't know I had asked such a profound question. <laughs> <laughs> Has she been a star over a period of five years? Over five years? Yes. And yet in the past <laughs> year... The fellow behind you is very <laughs> indecisive tonight, Jerry. <laughs> he didn't know whether to charge you for that or not. Go ahead, I'm sorry. It's a good number. I'll play. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, she's an actress. Is she uh, known for pictures more than she is for the stage? Yes. Yes. Is she primarily an actress, or does she have another function, such as a uh, sports star? No, I think you would call her primarily an actress. Act now, let's, let's keep it rolling here. Oh, all righty. <laughs> I pass. There's the role of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Is this girl a blonde at the moment? No. Is she a redhead? Yes. She is a redhead? Yes. Was this thing she was known for uh, an international marriage? Well, uh, there was an, uh... No. No, no, no. Uh, oh, it isn't? She wasn't known for a marriage to an international playboy? No. No, not, not no. I no, I wouldn't, no. Uh, <laughs> don't think so. No. Oh, uh, well, has she, is she appearing, uh, right now in a picture on Broadway? No. No. Uh, you have one question, darling. I have one question. I have to save it. Mayor? It's up to you, Hayward. Uh, she's a redhead, eh? Yes. I can't think of any redhead other than Rita Hayworth. I'll pass to you, Jerry. I can think of redheads. <laughs> Susan Hayward? No. Uh, well, I'm afraid, uh... If uh the uh, hat check girl at the Culpa? <laughs> The waitress at Lindy's? Uh, no, that's a waiter, by God. Uh, boy, do I don't know. <laughs> well, I tell you, I, I, we seem to have stumped you, and uh, unless anyone has a, a, an idea, all right, I have I to tell you. I want to ask one question, Bob. All right, right. Mayor. Is this, is this person a real person? Yes. Oh, very <laughs> real. You were leaving out, uh, maybe what, I, what threw you off My was... favorite comedian. Comedian. Maybe what I was... Lucy oh. Oh. <laughs> Nevertheless, you get $75 for your favorite charity, Francis Langford. You go on over there, pick up your checks, and thanks from the makers of Johnson's Wax for playing the name. Thank you very much.